I just found out about a huge perk of owning Cruise Line shares. I had no idea. Hey everyone, Dave K here today telling you about a huge perk of owning Cruise Line shares. And I gotta give a shout out to a previous comment from Rapunzel. Rapunzel, thank you for that comment regarding Cruise Line shares and shareholder benefits for owning a certain amount of shares. I had no idea that this was a thing with these other cruise lines, so I'm so excited to tell you all about it here today. Let me dive into each of the cruise lines that offers a shareholder benefit and what those shareholder benefits are. So I just recently learned that Royal Caribbean, Carnival Cruise Line, and Norwegian Cruise Lines, and there may be more as well, those are just the ones that I know of right now, that they all offer a shareholder benefit for cruising on their cruise ships. And that shareholder benefit is an onboard credit. So you get a stateroom credit for cruising on any of those three cruise lines if you are a shareholder of those companies. Now you need to own at least 100 shares of whichever cruise line you're cruising on. So for example, if you're cruising on Royal, you need to own at least 100 shares of Royal in order to get this shareholder perk. But it's an amazing perk I had no idea about. I know a lot of people are thinking about buying cruise line stocks right now or maybe did buy cruise line stocks right now based on kind of the reduced price of those cruise line stocks. And so I wanted to make you aware of this maybe brand new feature you now have access to. So if you own at least 100 shares of Royal, now it depends which cruise line you're going on, Royal, Carnival, Norwegian, you need to own 100 shares of whichever cruise line that is. 100 shares can be a lot of money, but if you own 100 shares and you can't compare this deal with any other deal, so if you have some discounted rate due to a friends and family discount or your employee, or something along those lines, you can't necessarily utilize this discount or this onboard credit along with that discount. But if you're not using any of those other benefits and you own at least 100 shares of whichever cruise line you are cruising on, you are entitled to a onboard cruise credit. And now let me break it down for you specifically how much cruise credit you get on each of these cruise lines for how many nights of cruising. So on any of the Royal brands, that's Royal Caribbean, you've got Celebrity Cruises, and uh, Azamara Sailings looks like, excludes any Charter or Galapagos Sailings. But as long as you're going for one of those first three, you are entitled to, at the starter level, a $50 stateroom credit if you're going for five nights or less on a Royal Cruise. That next tier up is $100 of stateroom credit on a Royal Caribbean cruise. Really amazing. Again, if you think about comparatively to some of the discounts available right now on those cruise line stocks, this can add up. And I'll do that math here in a minute. But 6 to 13 nights of a cruise, you can get a $100 stateroom credit for the individual who owns those shares. And then you've got a $250 onboard credit for the staterooms of 14 or more nights. So if you're going on over a two week cruise, which would be a lot of fun, then you are entitled to that $250 of stateroom credit. And if you're a regular cruiser, I can definitely see the benefit here. If you look at, for example, the valuation of some of these companies on the market right now, let's say, for example, I took a Royal Cruise and you know, I'm spending $50 a share for a Royal Cruise Line share. Now, recently, not so long ago, that would have been extremely cheap. Right now, that's on the pricier side. At time of filming, the market could fluctuate. But you can see, again, $50 a share times 100 shares is $5,000. That can add up to be quite a bit of money towards stock holdings. But if you get a 50% onboard credit, that's more or less 1% of what you spent on all those investments. That's one share that you get back more or less as an onboard cruise credit. And if you buy the company or you buy the shares at a lower price, it's a higher percentage than what you spent. And again, if you take a longer night cruise, you know, you get that $100 onboard credit instead, you're looking at instead 1 50th, right? Or 2% of what you spent almost as a, it's not really a dividend. You already, you, in addition, you you get your dividends and hopefully the increased value of the company. But in addition, you get this almost like dividend or payout, which is a reduction of your costs. And this onboard cruise credit can be used for those onboard needs, such as let's say you're buying merchandise or maybe you're tipping your servers and that sort of thing at the end of the cruise. At least that's what I'm familiar with 
with a lot of the Disney cruises. And merchandise I already covered, some of those excursions, if you book those through Royal, a variety of options in terms of how to utilize that credit. Norwegian Cruise Line here has similar offerings. Their cruise brands are Norwegian Cruise Line, you've got Oceana Cruises, and Regent Seven Seas Cruises here. So a variety of brands there as well under Norwegian. You've got a $50 onboard credit for sailings of six days or less. So it sounds like maybe it's similar to the five nights for Royal, but they're doing days instead and it's an extra day, which might add up to be the same number. I'm not 100% I'm not sure how they're counting those days, but I think that is how it would count. $100 onboard credit per stateroom on sailings of 7 to 14 days, and then you've got that $250 of onboard credit for the 15 days or more. So again, can really add up comparatively to the cost that you buy those shares for. Again, Norwegian, for example, is a lower cost right now on the market. Let's say, I feel like $20 is on the higher side for Norwegian right now. So if you end up spending $2,000 to buy enough shares to qualify for this, if you get a 15 day or more cruise, if you took one, you'd be getting back more than 10% of what you invested in terms of cruise credit. So that can add up, if you are a regular cruiser and you're planning to cruise anyways, that can add up quite a bit. And lastly, we've got the Carnival Corporation's cruise line deals, and they have a whole bunch of brands. So before I jump into the brands, let me tell you the numbers. You've got a $50 cruise credit for a sailing of six days or less. You've got the $100 stateroom credit for sailings of seven to 13 days, and then that $250 of credit if you're sailing for 14 days or more. So again, very similar to some of those other companies that we heard and some of their offerings in terms of onboard credit if you own stocks or if you own shares of those cruise lines. Now let me tell you what brands sit beneath Carnival that you could apply this to. We've got North America, we've got Continental Europe, we've got United Kingdom, and we even have Australia brands with Carnival. Very cool to see right here on their website. You've got Carnival Cruise Line, of course, the first one I think of because that's their name, but you've also got Princess Cruises. You've got Holland America, which I feel like I've heard of and I've heard good things. You've got Seabourn, you've got Cunard, and you've got Costa Cruises. So a variety of options there within North America. Continental Europe also has Costa Cruises and Aida Cruises. Looks like Aida, similar to that stage musical, A-I-D-A, -I, I think that's Aida but maybe they call it something else over there. Let me know if you know. The United Kingdom has P&O Cruises. They have Cunard as well. They have Princess Cruises. And Australian brands include P&O and Princess Cruises as well. So a variety of brands within Carnival Cruise Line that you could apply that same stateroom credit to. Really cool to see some of those options available to us. And I would love to be able to take some more cruises to travel to new places. As soon as I read Australia there, I thought it was really, really exciting and interesting. The idea of being able to travel somewhere like Australia, where I've never been, I'd love to be able to take some cruises and check out some new locations. And I could see myself flying to some new locations as well, but I feel like cruising would be an amazing way to see it all, enjoy a new cruise line, a relaxing kind of vacation, in addition to that destination could be really, really cool. So that's one thought that comes to mind for me. But doing a quick look online at some of the best cruises out there, there's a variety of different things you'll hear from different individuals. But a lot of the cruise lines that I've heard of in terms of ones that I should consider checking out include, you've got your Royal, of course, Royal Caribbean's one I've heard a lot about. Celebrity, Norwegian, and Princess are all pretty rated here. Again, just at first glance, they're pretty well rated. But I've heard a variety of different names from friends so I'm still trying to build my short list of which types of cruise lines, which cruise line brands I wanna check out in the future. And if you listen to this list here, you've got all three of those main companies I already touched on, touched within each of those names, right? Norwegian, you've got Royal, and then you've got Princess there for the carnival name. And I'd love to hear your thoughts as well. If you have any recommendations, favorite brands, that sort of thing, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you know that this was a perk that was available that maybe you qualified for and you had no idea? I hope I've been able to provide some valuable insights to you on this. I was so excited when I heard about it. I had no idea this was a thing. Definitely made me more interested in some of these cruise line shares and some of the stocks within the cruise industry as well. And I'd love to look into more benefits, more perks to shareholders, maybe some other companies offer as well. That'd be really nice to see if other companies were doing similar initiatives. I feel like this is really smart for Carnival and for Royal and for Norwegian, for the cruise line companies to say, hey, shareholders, stockholders, 
we're offering this deal to you because your ownership of our company to give you this cruise credit. And they're still getting those customers. They're still getting us as customers on their ships. So still profitable for them. And at the same time, provides a benefit to us as shareholders of them or those who choose to be shareholders of those companies. Support your favorite cruise line, for example. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell to stay informed of future adventures. And until next time, play on.